Hello, my name is Fran Teplitz and I serve as Executive Co-Director at Green America. Thank you for joining this presentation today on greening your home. This is part of the NBC4 Telemundo 44 Health and Wellness Expo 2021. I hope you find the information useful. About Green America, by way of introduction, we are a national membership organization based in Washington, D.C., and dedicated to building the green economy, one that works for both people and the planet. We work with consumers, green businesses, investors, and whole supply chains to help solve some of the most pressing social and environmental challenges facing humanity today. To learn more, visit us at greenamerica.org. We also have a national green business network that supports and promotes companies whose operations are socially and environmentally responsible. If you're an eco entrepreneur, learn more about our business programs at greenbusinessnetwork.org. And if you're looking for green products and services, also visit us at greenpages.org. As we have come to learn, human health is closely linked to environmental health, both the natural environment and the built environment. To the detriment of human and ecosystem health, we are poisoning the environments in which we live, including our homes. For example, did you know that indoor air is more toxic than outdoor air, even in industrialized cities, according to the Environmental Protection Agency? This is because toxic chemicals are everywhere in building materials, products, and the dust that permeates our homes. Here are just a few of the chemicals that may be in your home, whether in personal care products, plastics, flooring, paints, and more. For example, formaldehyde is used in building materials, textiles, cosmetics, and home goods, yet it is a carcinogen. Polybrominated diphenyl ethers PBDEs, you got that, are used as fire retardants in foam furniture, electronics, plastics, carpet padding, and building materials. PBDEs have also been associated with tumors and thyroid issues. And PFCs are found in paints, flooring, and furniture. They've been linked to cancer, thyroid issues, damage to the immune system and reproductive system, birth defects, and more. So let's go on a tour of a home. We'll take a look at the toxins and what some greener approaches would look like. We'll start with the living room. How about that? Here you may find the PBDEs I mentioned a moment ago, asbestos and VOCs, volatile organic compounds. Don't be confused by the word organic. Here, it only means that these chemicals include the element carbon. All of these chemicals present health risks, yet many may be used in your furniture. A safer, greener choice would be to use furniture made from natural fibers like wood or wool, especially if that wood is unfinished or finished in an environmentally friendly manner. Avoid VOC sealants and do try to be on the lookout for older furniture. How about flooring? Again, Chemical concerns include VOCs and phthalates, which have been identified as endocrine disruptors and may also exacerbate asthma in some children. Instead, look for flooring that is made from refurbished wood, perhaps bamboo or cork. Low or zero VOC stains and finishes should also be at the top of your list. And oil from renewable sources like linseed. Also, if you're using rugs, for example, choose wool and, and use nails other than glue um, to secure the carpet in place. Go for options that are not stain or water resistant. Moving on to the kitchen, we've all heard about the many problems associated with plastics, including the chemicals in them that are known endocrine disruptors. Instead of plastic, Use glass or ceramic or stainless steel containers and coverings like beeswax wrap instead of plastic wrap. There are plenty of alternatives to plastic for commonly used items in the kitchen. And when it comes to cookware, do avoid Teflon. 
and instead used cast iron, stainless steel, carbon steel, or even heat safe glass. The next room, moving on to the bathroom now, be sure to avoid fragrances in cleaning product, products since many do contain formaldehyde and VOCs. Try using the Guide to Healthy Cleaning Products produced by the Environmental Working Group or look for products from truly green companies that you can find at greenpages.org. The same message goes for personal care products. Refer to the Environmental Working Group's Skin Deep database or buy from businesses at greenpages.org that are green certified. You want to make sure the products you and your family use throughout the week or even every single day on your bodies do not contain lead, phthalates, and other toxics. On our tour, we're now considering the bedroom and that means a focus on mattresses and bedding. For mattresses, look for organic materials and avoid flame retardants. Good choices include wool, cotton, and natural latex. For bedding, it's good to avoid goods that are described as stain or water or moth or flame or wrinkle resistant. Those are not good choices. It's healthier to choose organic options if you can. You may need to contact the manufacturer directly for information on chemicals that may be added during the manufacturing process. And of course, almost every room in the home at some point gets painted. Go for super low or ideally zero VOC paints and stains. You may also want to try milk paint, which can be used safely on walls, furniture, and even on children's toys. It's true that it can be confusing to know which products are truly safe for people in the planet and which are not, since there is quite a bit of greenwashing. That is using marketing tricks and approaches to make consumers think a product is green when it really isn't. Here are a few of the labels you can trust. Safer Choice, the Environmental Working Group, Green Seal, the Green Business Network, USDA Organic, and others. Green America is here to help you green your home and your life all year long. Join us at greenamerica.org. Members receive all of our resources to help you live a healthier life, one that support, supports both people and the planet. Thank you.